And we're live. It happens periodically. When I'm not like completely like dead. <laughs> uh, well, welcome back to another uh, Forge by Geek is playing Kingdom Death Monster, People of the Stars campaign. Uh, Lantern Year 7 now, and uh, Settlement 3.1. So um, this seems to be going better than Settlement 1 and a lot better than Settlement 2. Mm -hmm. It's hard to not do better than Settlement 2. Yeah. So and two went badly. Oh, and uh, the king. Yeah, we've got a cat. So we've got a cat opening the cabinet. Yeah. And uh, the Kingdom Death Monster 1.5 campaign just ended. And did how much? How did it do relatively? 12,393,139, was it? Something like that. Oh, Jesus, that's insane. Yeah, it was amazing. I think, so people were saying it's the fourth uh, highest Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah, it beat Exploding Kittens. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, thank God. N nothing against the Exploding Kittens, guys, but it kind of feels a little weird to me having the number one board game ever on Kickstarter be a simple card game. That's apparently not a bad card game, but it was mostly there because of oatmeal and art. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I want a real board game, and now we've got it. Yes. Oh. Boy, do we have it. I think we're going to be playing this for another 10 years with everything that he's revealed. Like, it is amazing, all of the stuff that's come out. Well, like, when I talk to other people about this game right now, one of the big things that I like to say is, to me, Kingdom Death Monster is like the new D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. This is basically the new D&D. &D. This, is, this is what, when I think about D&D &D 5th Ed, if, they had, if you take this and add dungeon crawling... This Which is, is in, yep. in the new one. Yeah, so. this is basically what I would have wanted out of it. I wanted come up with a way to remove the DM. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, have like books that you look through and you check stuff. Hey, hey, Scragglefoot. But have Hello. books and stuff to help guide you through plot and do interesting things. And maybe you need a DM periodically for those one-on-one -on -one conversations and all that kind of like theory crafting and world crafting. But sometimes it's nice just to be able to play the game. Yeah, there's a there's a totally different feel. And don't get me wrong, I've had some really impactful D and D campaigns. I even have run a couple of them. Um, yeah. You know where really you couldn't have done it without the DM being there because yeah. they were guiding the story in a slow, progressive fashion, working with the players, really, you know, causing something like a true, uh, almost novel-like experience to, you know to emerge from the gameplay, right? Yeah. But the truth of the matter is is that it's really hard to find GMs yeah, who are willing to spend the time to do that kind of a thing. You also have to have, you know, a lot of people don't talk about how you have to have the perfect playgroup for it, too, because if you've got that guy that all he cares about is the combat, then the story is going to lose something out of it. You know, if two of the players don't get along, then that's, if you've got a diva, then that's going to cause a problem. If they just like different stories and they're not willing to share? Or, or like, quite frankly, what happened the last time we tried to play a and &D. I honestly didn't do a very good job working with the DM. Mm -hmm. And it was a case of, quite simply, the DM and me had a very different way of viewing how you play a game. The DM had the expectation that you have deep knowledge of the of the universe that you're playing in. And I can't remember which universe we were playing in. I was forgotten wrong. Time. Okay, but still, I don't read much for pleasure. I read mostly for work and related type of stuff. So I didn't understand the gods. I didn't understand the world very much. And my expectation was if you have a character with an int of, or wisdom of like 16, they just know the stuff so the DM should be helping me along. That's mm -hmm. not how the DM played. So we broke down as a result of that. Yeah. And it's like, with Kingdom Death Monster, you don't have these issues, which is just one of the things that I absolutely love about it. Yeah, the only thing you have is, like, you know, people forgetting the rules. Yeah, but that's, oh god, let's not even talk about the rules we've forgotten while playing uh, uh, TNT. Well, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the number of times, like, five or six games in after somebody was using something, by the way... I don't think that that actually works within the rules of the game. Nobody likes you when you do that. Oh, no, no. And then there's, like, uh, go back to, like, 3-5 or 3-0 and, like, the gauntlets of infinite damage and stuff like that that you could do using yeah. all the expansions and all the rule fuckery it was. Um, I am surprised he hasn't had any major issues like that with Kingdom Death that are really easy to abuse mm -hmm. because, of, like, the gauntlets of infinite damage you could abuse by, like, level 4. Um, yeah. 
But this, there are abuses, but you have to earn them. Well, you know, honestly, this game reminds me a lot of uh, Bravely Default, where it's like, you know, you, you got all of the character classes, and you put them together, and they had abilities and all this kind of stuff, and you were looking at them, and you're like, you know, I'm betting that's broken, right? And so you were like, oh, but, you know, I don't want to break the game. That'd be rude. I should really play it the way it's intended. Then you realize that they're breaking the game back, and you have to break the game to win, and it's like, oh, game on, then. Yeah. This is that kind of a game, where it's like, game on. Or like Scragglefoot, yeah. Um... Gee, I mean, a uh, group over Skype. That's hell. I, I We did that as well. Uh, Rico actually lived out of state for a while, and we ran D&D &D ga games. I ran D&D &D games, and he was remote. And just trying to... We had our initial setup, like what you see here, actually came out of that. Yeah. Realizing that we could stream remote, but just getting the video quality, getting the good angles, helping them be able to see, getting them to participate, that was all a nightmare. Yeah. Um... But either way, I think we're generally speaking good to go, just the yeah. normal housekeeping. We are now nine days away from launching the Defense Grid Kickstarter. If you'd like to check out the game, you can go to that link that I just posted on the screen. Um, in addition, if you'd like to be notified when we actually... Where'd my mouse pointer go? Um, yes. If you'd like to be notified when we kick off the Kickstarter, please follow the link to the Facebook event. Uh, and if you sign up to that, you will be notified right when it kicks off. It'll alert you on your phone, on your PC, wherever you happen to use Facebook. Um, it's been crazy. Uh, other little bit of housekeeping, I'd like to apologize to some of our YouTube people. You might have noticed that suddenly today, when you see this video, uh, four videos went up at once instead of just two that's because uh last week oh god i burnt myself out twice that's impressive yeah. um uh i went three days with five hours of sleep and then i started getting recovered and then i decided to work an entire night uh <laughs> and decided to is a vague term mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh it was absolutely crazy um so I was bad YouTuber, did not actually, you know, I've got the videos up on YouTube, but I never bothered to, you know, name them and click publish and a few other things because, oh God, getting my rules done, getting everything. The rules, near final rules are posted on the Board Game Geek page. It's just been absolutely crazy. Uh, we've got our minis. We've got the small run of the towers. They will be showing up here uh, Monday by 6 p or 3 p.m. Uh, nice. We get to look at them, take photos of them, and then take them over to uh, our licensor, Hidden Path Entertainment, to give the thumbs up on them. <laughs> it's an amazing concept. They like to sign off on stuff. Yeah. So uh, we're really looking forward to that. We've also got the sculptures now done for the first five aliens. Uh, I believe they're in the mail to the guy to do the small run of those as well. Nice. They should have been mailed out Friday. I don't have a shipping number, so I don't know for certain, but they should well, be. they're not going you anyways, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but... Uh, I, I know that it would be useful to have the number. I'm just saying, but it's not usually as critical a thing. And I... Wait. My camera's not updating. <laughs> oh, shit. I just noticed on the screen, my camera's static. You're an empty chair. I'm an empty chair. Why am I an empty chair? Oh, my God, you're an empty chair. Um, that's not good. Give me a second here. Where did the camera go? Uh, crap. <laughs> Is that it? Nope, that's you. Let's pop that off. And pop... Wow, that camera's dead. Broke. Okay, let it me... It's super broke. Yeah, that camera's super broke. Let me reinitialize the camera. Why did How I... About I start setting up the hunt. Go ahead and set up the hunt. Oh, holy crap, I... Our camera's dead. Well, it's not dead yet. Well, it isn't lit up, but is yeah. that because you unplugged it? Yeah. Um, and now, let it initialize. Well, i got to get in front of it now, too. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, right now, an empty chair is an accurate portrayal. Hey! <laughs> oh, as I kill Perf on the system. Oh, my God. <laughs> Using a cloak of invisibility, you say. Okay. Perf issues are corrected! Yay! Now we're good. It's amazing. Initializing the camera hits your system pretty hard. <laughs> so does Twitch streaming. Oh. 
man, it would be awesome if you actually had a cloak of invisibility. I mean, seriously, that would be great. Okay, it's almost fully reinitialized. So, you're a little perf bad on your bottom. There we go. And now, that should be coming back up. Yay! It looks like we came back up all the way. Sorry about that. We're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling here. It would have been pretty funny if we'd done the entire stream with you basically being just uh invisible boy. Yeah, and but yeah, reinitializing camera for perf hell. Yay, yay to cutting out our Twitch stream temporarily. People yes. on YouTube will get to see it. <laughs> but um yes. So yeah, um it's 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 I don't even know why I shuffle these things. I know, it's habit. I know, but the, you know, I'm going to get out of the habit, and then we're going to get the new hunt events that actually, or we're going to start doing something that actually puts freaking real hunt events in there, and then I'm not going to shuffle it. He starts on four, right? Yes. Okay. But yeah, um, uh, as I was saying, before we cut out our quiz stream, uh, please, please, please uh, check out the Facebook link and the... Uh, and the board game geek link for Defense Grid the board game. I'm tired as fuck, but um, uh, we've put me and Rico have put a ton of work into this, uh, combined with several other people, including our sculptor that we hired. We have an artist. We have lots of people on board um, that have helped us with this, and uh, it's going to Kickstarter in nine days. And um, we have we have no perceptions that we're going to be Kingdom Death Monster level successful, even the first one, but. Uh, We'd like to keep doing this. <laughs> it's been it's been a fun fun uh, couple of years, and I really hope that people will uh, will give us a shot and consider backing the game. Um, uh, honestly speaking, part of the reason why we started doing the board game streaming was because of Defense Grid, the board game. Uh, we needed to start building an audience. Uh, and it's really hard to do so when you don't have a product out on the market. So we were hoping that doing this board game streaming would possibly help us get a few extra backers for Defense Grid. Um, finally, uh, we have officially been confirmed 100% locked in. We will be Twitch streaming on the Twitch homepage uh, Tuesday, uh, January 16th at 7.30 p.m. right as we kick off uh, Defense Grid the board game. And in addition, sometime during the four-hour block while we're on that uh, main page, we are going to have the the uh, top two people at Hidden Path Entertainment, uh, Jeff and Michael, will be coming here to our house uh, to join us on the Defense Grid the Board Game stream for our Kickstarter launch. Wow. So I've got to clean up a bit again. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We have cats, man. Oh yeah, yeah we do. Like, I, got, I gotta say, I love our cats, I love them dearly, but they are not the cleanest creatures in the World. No, they're not. Okay, so I think we should probably get playing now that I've been bullshitting for about 10 to 15 minutes yes. okay. and fixing our camera. So, Feldspar is white, Onyx Noble is black. Oh, right. Oh. We need Monster Okay. <laughs> so, Onyx Noble is Okay. Okay. Um, for purposes, I usually do uh, the white is on the right, so that would have been number, and black is left for Fusion Noble. Oh. Oh yeah, funny thing. Uh, Jeff, the CEO, has Kingdom Death Monster. Oh neat. He's never opened it. Oh come on. <laughs> okay. To be fair, he runs a business. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. Okay, uh, so hand me the first hunt card. Dun dun dun. Oh All right. wait, why are we hunting the antelope? We never said that. Oh, because we want the beast knuckles. Yeah, we need one more pelt, is it? Yeah. One Which... more pelt to get a uh, beast knuckle. And any additional uh, hides would be a nice bonus. Yeah, but the, the, the screaming antelope is shit for hide. Yeah, it's most... what? Yeah. It's actually shit for hide. Oh, okay. Devoured grounds. Screaming antelope hunt event. The stone face ground is littered with the leavings of ravenous passing beasts. Half-eaten acanthus plants are strewn everywhere. If any survivor has three-plus understanding, the survivors may skip the next hunt space. Otherwise, roll random hunt event. I have five. I have five as well. I think we want to skip the next hunt space. Yes. Because these can be really deadly. Okay, so we skip to the next hunt space. But, um, oh, otherwise roll random yeah. hunt event. Okay, otherwise so we skip all the way ahead to there. Okay. 
Okay, so next hunt event. Sorry, fixing my hair. It was all falling to my face. That's fun. Oh. Vomit pile. Oh, that sounds pleasant. I don't think we've had that one. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> the survivors find the half-digested remains of their quarry's last meal. Each survivor may scavenge, gain plus one courage, and roll on the table. One through four, you archive all of consumable gear. Uh-oh. Five through eight, you gain survival. And nine through ten, you gain understanding and one understanding and one random screaming antelope resource. Ooh. So only consumable gear, right? Yes. I have none! Yeah. I have... Okay, so... I, we would lose the monster grace, which I'm kind of reluctant to do because we don't have a whole lot of organs. Yeah. So, um... But does that character need courage for anything? Uh, they have no nothing of anything. Okay, so I wouldn't worry too much about that character, then. Yeah, so we'll skip that character. What about your person in the white line? I am perfectly fine. I have okay. no consumable at all. So then roll a d10. If, um, you, if you want to. Okay, so know. I'm going to start with Umber. So that's plus one courage. Okay. Period. End of story. Woohoo! You get that. Yay! And uh, then you roll the d10. Okay, here we go. One. Sickening. Archive all consumable gear. Okay, so nothing yeah. happens. So now moving on to Fuchsia Noble. Yes. Does she have any? Uh, nope. Gear. Okay, then she gets the plus one courage, and you will. Hopefully better. I'm yeah. gonna switch out my white die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, no. Eight. Oh, eight. Uh, not good enough. Oh. You find something undigested and eat it. Gain plus one survival. Which I can't. That seems like. Thing. Oh, and just for note, um, Umber has zero survival because we had Heat Wave last settlement event, so I only departed, or I departed with Heavy Gear being the uh, White Lion set, so I wasn't allowed to take out any survival with me. Okay, Onyx Noble rolls, gains her courage, and, or his courage, and rolls a one, so I would have lost all the consumable gear in my grid, but I have none. So that's that. Awesome. And then the hunt's over. And we just hop right in. Yep. Oh, that was quick and easy. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, so. Yeah, our rolling is terrible. Oh, yes. I, are, are, are you saying that caused us problems over time? Is uh, it all my fault? It was you and I who rolled a one, so I <laughs> both rolled a one. I, I bought really the dice. Can't just blame you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> then I can't blame you. Yeah. Okay, pass monster controller. Okay. All right. So, pull out three acanthus plant terrain cards. And two randoms, I presume. Yep. Hey, I'm starting to remember this. How long have we been playing? A while. <laughs> oh God, I am still so out of it. Oh. What hurt? Reaching. Oh, reaching bad. Okay. So should I put the trap at the top? Um, I don't have spear proficiency, so that'd be bad. Yes. I didn't bring that character. I had a character with that. Yeah, but we can't bring the spears without losing the uh, survival. Yeah. So unless you were going to do it on one of the characters, you already have lost the survival. Which we really don't want to do, given that we're going to be hunting a tyrant soon. Yeah. Let's not lose all the survival. Well, right now it's not that big of a deal because we can basically recover it. Okay. <laughs> God, not having that camera was hilarious. <laughs> I love the fact that it was still displaying. It was just displaying a fixed image of nothing. Yeah. Of you just of your chair. Isn't technology awesome? Yeah, that was amazing. And we tested audio and everything before the stream, but never bothered to look to see if I was visible. So it doesn't help. You can't see it from here, but we've got a camera boom arm right here for the camera that's looking at Nicole, and it's literally blocking the top center of the screen. I can't see the top center of the screen without doing that. <laughs> okay, so we start with seven basic cards. Uh, and we get debris and, oh Jesus, more acanthus. Wow. So we have eight acanthus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of acanthus. Eight, and then one debris. Yep. Okay, so six of these have to be set up in the normal way. Which is around the sucker. And then you add three advanced cards. A total of ten hit 
minutes. I believe they are three out from him, right? Uh, they have to be within four of them. Four. Okay, that's where I was getting confused. Um, there we go. Canvas, another canvas. Yes. One, two, three. There we go. Let's see, advance, and then let's hope we don't get gobbled up. No, no, that that would be a bad day. So trample, in case anybody needs a refresher, is that if the if the antelope runs into you, then you suffer damage equal to the monster's level. Ah, uh, yes. Which in his case would be one, because we're chickens. Yes, we're As very good Rico at that. Rico keeps telling us. Yes, Rico keeps kicking us, uh, wanting us to do level two mobs, which we, we want to do. We want to do level twos, but we don't have dash. We need dash. Where is our dash? I mean, okay. we do have Emperor, Empire and Bloodline, so I can't really complain that much. Okay, so this is, has to be at least six spaces away from other Acanthus. So I'm just going to start these down um, by the board edge. So put this by where one of your characters will be starting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put it by this character. And then since I have a character that can move six, this character will be starting here. So blue is going to be Umber which has six movement because of the white lion armor hookup for the white lion boots. And then uh, Fuchsia Noble just has five. So Fuchsia's going to grab this and then move forward in the next round be able to grab the other one. Then we have the debris set up to next to any board. Do you have a character with six movement? No. Okay, so I'll let you grab that with your other character as well, since you won't be able to get one right away. Um, or actually, is that one close enough for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... I could get that one. That one's too far out. That's no. not the proper setup. What? Huh? Um, That's exactly in the right location. No, but you're supposed to make them equal, so this is the setup I usually do. Equal? Um, they're supposed to be... You want to try to make them... You don't want them piled on top of each other, I thought. Oh, see, this is always the setup I've done. Okay. Okay. This is. I a... figured you had a different reason. That's not a requirement, though. Oh. It's, it's set up in the green area, which is within four of them. Oh, okay. Well, this is how I do it. So I usually spread it out. Try to stay consistent. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Nicole watched under the Kickstarter. I was catching up on sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, which is something I've not been doing a good job of. So, is there? What are the rules? Uh, debris at the board edge and acanthus is six away from other acanthus. Okay. So that's fine. Yeah, so those two should be fine. Okay, okay. so here, get those off the side. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward. Uh, the gambler looks interesting. Oh, like, yeah. You know, I mean, there wasn't much there, relatively speaking. Okay, oh, I, I forgot. I wanted to... I'd like to point out that we are prescient, because we had no idea about the Pathfinder thing, and how long have we been streaming Kingdom Death and Pathfinder, and now there's a Pathfinder <laughs> crossover? So, I just wanted to say, yeah. to us. Oh, and welcome back, Charles Fox. Yes. Uh, thank you for joining us so frequently. It's awesome. Uh, okay. um, will we see you at PAX South? That would be awesome to meet you in person. Uh, Always like meeting our fans. So yeah, if anybody's at PAX South, we're also going to be bringing Defense Grid, the board game. We're in booth... Oh, hell, I forgot the booth number. Give me one second. Um, we're in booth 9036 at PAX South. Uh, so feel free to stop by and say hi. Nicole will be there too, though yes. not in the booth the whole, all the time. Yeah. She'll be occasionally grabbing us food and collecting us uh, penny arcade pins. Yeah. Okay, and here we go. Oh, oh, hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, joining us. Always welcome. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Partner Amos. I think that's how you pronounce that. Did I get that right? Partner Amos? Rasmus, though. Rasmus. Definitely Rasmus. Rasmus. Ah, still. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, always love new chatters. Gore. Full move the, in the direction the monster is facing and turn to face the closest survivor. What's this move? Six? Six. Three, four, five, six. Okay, closest would be me. So that would be Fuchsia. Um, random survivor in range. None! Chop, chop, chop. Okay. <laughs> he grazes. So not a bad little start there. Yeah. Rasmus! He just wants Rasmus. Okay, Rasmus. <laughs> Aww. Okay. 
So now it's our turn. He back, Charles back to Kickstarter, so he's not going to make it to Pax Off. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that was an expensive Kickstarter. What, how much did we end up at to get everything? Uh, well, we didn't get everything because we didn't get the board, but uh, I put in uh, a lot. Uh, 1786, I think. Yeah, I think it's 1786 because that way it was the Satan's Lantern Pledge plus the uh, plus the the, the, the partner stuff, the crossovers. The crossovers. Yeah. Well, thank you for Celador for following us on Twitch. Always appreciated. And I think we're good to go. So yeah. I'm gonna check in the canvas okay. using Fuchsia. Let's see how this goes. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it was. I really wish we'd get we'd gone in on the 3D board. Yeah, we're ho we forgot to put the 3D board, so we're hoping we can add it on later. That's not a good number. No, that's not a good number. That would be uh, entangle. Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, something bites me in the can canthus plant. I take one arm damage and and uh, dump that. So great start. Luckily, I have arm armor. It's an amazing concept. Woo! I like having my arm armor. Oh god, it's gonna be interesting playing with the different balance. Oh god. The, like, I, I mean, can't wait. There's so be, much oh stuff. Oh my god, it's gonna be weird. And then I'm going to move forward my five. Okay. And then I'm just going to run forward six and check another Acanthus. Okay. Oh, that went better. Um, I, think that's... I gain a survival, which is actually useful on number. Woo! I gained a survival! Yay! Um, find something tasty and consume it. If you do, gain one survival. Archive. Okay. So now Feldspar is going to try to search through the debris. Ten. Awesome. Oh, thank you, uh, Rasmus, for uh, following us. Debris. Number you got ten. Oh, oh, you got a ten? Yes. Get a scrap sword. Okay. Woot! So that's our second scrap sword. Yes. Oh, can you fit it? Yeah. Oh, you've got the empty spot. Woohoo! Yeah. That's awesome. Alrighty then. Yeah, it would have been bad if I'd gotten it on my other character because they don't have any space. Yeah. Yeah, that would have sucked. Probably right. would have dumped a uh, rawhide piece, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Onyx Noble searches the Acanthus. Okay. With a nine. Oh, that's not bad. That will get you gain a fresh acanthus strange resource. Archive it. Okay. Oh. Ah. Here you go. Yay. Oh. Oh shoot! I just broke our tray. Ah! Oh, how badly did I break this? Bad enough that I'm going to remove it from the thing. This is how we store our cards. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't want to fuck with it on the stream. Okay, so I'll move the monster controller, and here's the next AI card. Okay, and we get Slam! Closest knockdown survivor in range. Nope. Third, furthest threat in field of view in range. So I think that's... Nope. Oh, in range. In range. No nope. one's in range? Yep, so we can raise Oh, no, again. uh, one, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one off. Nope. Uh, chomp. Mm -hmm. And heals. Oh, we didn't wound him yet. Yeah. Okay, that works. Okay, so who do you have to get proficiency with? I need to get fuchsia proficiency on the sword. Oh, shoot. Uh, I forgot to select this. Okay. Which proficiency are you taking? Grand weapon. Woohoo! We got a grand weapon! Okay, so I need proficiency on both of them, actually. Hey, it never knows! Oh, the goblin figure's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, though, I don't even know how we're going to consume all the content when it gets here. It's just going to Well, be it's probably so going to piecemeal in. We'll probably do one-off streams for a lot of it. Just to go, hey, we got this in. Here's a here's a special one-off where we take whatever our current group is and just go hunt it. Yeah. But it's not part of our game. Yeah. That could be fun. It will be interesting. Okay, so. Our turn? Uh, Yes. Okay, I'm going to start by running over and eating an acanthus. So, three, four, five, six. I love being able to move six. It fundamentally changes it so much. I know. Six. Apparently, I like six. And that gets me a survival. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. 
So I'm now up to two survival on Umber, which was really nice, because, you know, the party with heavy gear kind of sucks in the heat wave. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to try to get my sword proficiency. So, I can't get on his back, so I'm going to run to his side right there. Okay. And stop there. Um, for those at home, the Regal Edge is normally a 1 5 2 weapon, but because I have a constellation, it is plus 1 speed and plus 4 strength, so it's a 2 5 6. Nice. And then on top of that, I have 3 additional strength, so I'm 2 5 9. Okay. Which means all I need is a, uh, yeah, anything. I need a 5 to hit, but I need a, uh, anything but a 1. Yeah, the Abyssal Woods campaign is interesting. I really want to see where they go with it. Yeah, one hit. Oh, so I hit average. Mm -hmm. Restless flank. He will turn to face me, but won't do anything if I if I hit him. Or no, regardless. Okay. Okay. So, um, I don't have anything that helps with luck, so I need a ten to crit. I got a two. I wound him. <laughs> At least it wasn't a one! <laughs> no ones, yay! Oh, uh, And I am done with my characters. Okay. So I will search the Acanthus. Oh, okay. Five. Five will get you a survival. Yeah, I am up to four survival. Awesome. So are we worried at all about trying to stack his deck too much? Uh, we need to stack the hit locations for the Zimbato. Oh! I mean, I think he has one super dense location. Okay, so we need to be careful with that. Oh, because now I have my sword check, so I can switch Fuchsia to going into uh, keeping the hit location for you. Okay, so now Onyx is going to search the, uh, the Encanthus. Okay. Seven is just tasty. Right? Yep, yep, well, you just get your survival. I don't get anything. Uh, yeah, it's the antelope. Yep, this is the screaming antelope. So it has this wonderful gory stomach, pretty impressive figure. Um, that likes to put his mouth down and go grinding across. Oh, the please don't even mention <laughs> that. You know, it's kind of funny. Out of all the nightmare fuel in the game, it ducking, like it leaning forward with its teeth on the is just like. <laughs> Literally the worst from a horror perspective. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, they're, they're, I'm not sure it's the worst in this game. There's pretty bad, but it's the it's one of the very few things that I actually, whenever it happens, like I actually viscerally cringe at it. <laughs> okay, so we need oh. to move the monster controller. Yes, we do. But um, I should have checked something first. Um, I forgot I have a disorder, and I always forget what that does to me. Okay. Um, make sure I didn't mess up. I have post-traumatic stress. Okay, so I always have to participate in endeavors. We fixed that last time, so we were fine there. Uh, Destined, what is that again? Do you remember? Uh, if you do not depart, you lose all of your uh, in, uh, insanity and survival. Okay, and then uh, tough allows me to dodge twice or no? No, tough is that you add one to the result of all severe injury rules unless the result was a one. And Frozen Star is the secret fighting art, which yeah. I always forget, so I should pull that out. Freeze the enemy or freeze your friends. Yep, and I have Red Fist on the other character. So, doing great. Oh, shoot. Um, we all have a strength token. Oh, you took out the Red Fist guy? Yeah. Okay. So we all have a strength token. Let me get that out. Yeah. Oh. I don't have any strength tokens over here. Yes. Oh. Better link my buddy. Oh, yes, yes, you should link your buddy. We like people being linked. And we can spend them as survival as part of the red uh, fist fighting art. Yes. Well. Yep. So, we effectively have an additional survival. Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. So now we need to switch the monster controller over. Yep. Sorry to some of the viewers, I'm a little bit out of it yet. Um, I've been working too hard to launch our own Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, um, this is a bad card. Which I'm abusing the fact that we Twitch stream to please check out our Kickstarter launch event. It's very appreciated. Crush and devour. Oh no. Oh no. No. This is threat in field of view in range. Oh no. Oh no. If that... Move and devour target. Speed 2. Accuracy 2 plus. Damage. Um, who is this attacking? So this is this is Fuchsia. 
So two plus, yeah. four plus. Because I have evasion. Evasion's a wonderful thing. <gasps> Yay! Missed. Both missed. Yay! I didn't get devoured. If any attack rolls hit, target gains the gobbled up survivor card. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, because you know I would have rolled a one. I, I, I just got to check. Oh, that was a nine. You, you might have gotten something good out of it. Yes. Anyways, but that was what happened. Oh, cry a nemesis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't even thought about oh. that. I thought that you couldn't use heavy armor weapons or two hand. Oh. oh. But then again, you know, you can use two two-handed weapons, I think. Or yeah. Something like that. So, okay. Wait, so our cat's actually playing with himself as opposed to you know waiting for us to do so. Oh. No, he's not. He's not licking himself. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, oh right, okay, so we need to figure out, uh, Feldspar can attack this turn. Yeah, I wasted that motto. nine. I still wasted that nine. <laughs> oh god, the, the red witches I'm looking forward to as well. Like, oh my god, I really want to see what that oh, fight is like. I don't think we've ever seen Artisan yeah, Raven Twitch. Yeah, that's still his friend. Oh, it is! Oh, hey, welcome back! I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, so, um... Uh, if we want to hit it with the Zombato, I need to look at the hit location. Well, let me do the, uh, I will do the Cat's Eye Circlet using Fuchsia. Since Fuchsia's already gotten the checkbox, Fuchsia's mostly going to back out. There is your hit location. And go into support roll. So you want to make sure that it's not a, uh, what's it called? Uh, super dense. Not super dense. Okay. Uh, do you have increased chance to crit at all? Yes, I have a plus two to my luck. Okay. on an eight, nine, or ten. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to put... And you only get one hit? Uh, yes. Okay. In that case, I'm going to put uh, something on the top that would give a Screaming Antelope resource. Okay. Uh, but you could pretend... Oh, no. That's only if you're with Fist and Tooth. If you had Fist and Tooth, you could get dislocated. No. Okay, cool. All right, so... Those reed witches. Reed witches. Do, <laughs> do you want to move her at all? Or move her him at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should get out of there a little bit. There we go. Double checking to make sure that I'm not freaking honorable. Okay, and I'm you're in the honorable. blind spot, so you get plus one. Yeah, so I hit on a five plus, unfortunately. Okay. Oh. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, that Roll sucked. Big. No, no, not rolling big. Nope. Oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. I forgot we have Oracle's Eye. Oh, what does that do again? It allows me you to look through the AI cards oh. before the showdown starts, oh, but after I... the showdown starts... You can't. Close in. Uh, I am going to Rawhide Headband. Or do you want to do that special arrow first? Uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, okay. I should do the special arrow. Alright, so I'm going to use the Claw Head Arrow, which does not take cumbersome from the bow, so it is a 1, 6, plus 6. <laughs> so it is... I have to roll a six or higher. Bow proficiency does not work for it, so I can't re-roll misses. But I managed to hit, which means he does get the evasion. I've got the evasion. Oh, you do? Okay. Because we didn't put it away after the last one. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been doing as much housekeeping as we usually do. Okay. So, I am not attacking with a melee weapon. Uh, what are you attacking? The restless hoof. If I fail, then it might be kicked out of the reach. reach. Ah, okay. So, I am going to roll this, and it is going to be a... Oh, I don't remember. Okay, so it's just going to be a uh, 7 strength, which is enough. Oh, you got it. So you got a wound. Yes. Yay! So there we go, and I can no longer use the claw head arrow on this fight, and I do not get proficiency because I use the arrow. Yep. I love how shooting an arrow does not give you proficiency with the bow. Uh, it's now, like, what am I doing? Now, is what would have like, been hilarious? With the, like... What would have been hilarious is if there was actually a weapon proficiency for arrows, mm -hmm. separate from mm. four bows. That would okay, been... that would be hilarious, but it'd also be terrible. It would be a bitch darn. You'd ha you definitely want to get the other arrow. Yeah, well, <laughs> arrows. There's several arrows. Oh yeah, in yeah. The game. Okay, so um, my other character unfortunately will not be able to reach him. It looks like. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, did I? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, <laughs> his wife who got killed. 
<laughs> Don't know why that makes me laugh. New anime season started, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> most of it is better not talked about. Yes, most of it. So you moved already, so I'm going to switch the monster controller and use the AI. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Down. If there are no acanthus plants on the board, discard showdown, chow down and play perform basic action. Woohoo! Discarded. Closest knockdown survivor in range. None. None. No target raise. If there are no acanthus plants on the showdown board, instead full move forward in a straight line. Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, could be worse, though. I I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we really need Dash. I know we do, but you're the one who's drawing from that deck. <laughs> That's a fair. Fair, very much. You know, actually, this, what was the... There was a pinup that they did, one of the male pinups, and I can't remember, but it was really good. Well, but most I of the male pinups have been honestly I really know, good. I I really like them. Though, like, though I have to say... Every time I look at those male pinups, I can't help but remember Shadow Hearts 2's uh, oh, yeah. um, collectible cards. Yes. <laughs> Penny Arcade did a great comic on that about gay porn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. So that was that. Yeah. Shadow Hearts 2, by the way, if you want to play one of the best JRPGs ever made, Shadow Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 2. It's... Not many people have heard of it. One of the best. And you don't need to play Shadow Hearts 1. Ignore Shadow Hearts 1. Hey! <laughs> it wasn't a bad game. Shadow Hearts... Okay. I will admit Shadow Hearts 1 was not as good as Shadow Hearts 2, but I feel like it improves the experience if you play Shadow Hearts 1. A little bit. Um, Shadow Hearts 3, though, I can't really recommend. It, the first half of the game's great, but they got forced to rush ship the game. It wasn't done. Yeah. So then... it's like the last section just goes dunk, dunk, dunk. And you're underpowered for the final boss. They, like, cut levels, but left the boss as hard as he could be. So, yeah. yeah. You kind of get a little bit of a feeling of the, uh, oh, the male pinup dragon goblin. Oh, oh yes. I love that. That's a nice pinup. Okay, so. Um, yeah. So, now it's our turn. I'm going to just, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's bringing everything to us. He really wants to play. We haven't in a while, have we? I have, a okay. little bit, but... Sometimes yeah, you've been a little bit busy. A little bit. Okay, I moved. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you hear the occasional cat whining, that's our cat bringing us stuff. Come here. Uh, did you want to check the hit location, though? Uh, yeah. We can't attack this one, but, like, no, we can kidding. at least look at the hit location. We have a cat! <laughs> Very unhappy cat, who's basically like, what the hell are you doing? Yes, okay. But I don't think you're going to be able to use Zambato this round, no. but it'll be set up for next. Yeah. Okay, so I have another... I put another uh, thing that'll give a Screaming Antelope resource if you create on top. Okay. So you should be all good there. Three, four, five. Yep. Okay. And if he's in range, so that's good. Oh, Except he's in range? Uh, yeah, but I can't shoot because oh, yeah. I... Uh, I do not have mastery of the bow on this character. Yes. Okay, so monster yes. controller moves, or actually, you know, one last thing before. Oh, you're gonna rawhide. Yeah, I'll rawhide the AI cards. That's a good call. Oh boy, infested. <laughs> uh oh. Shoot. Well, that one we don't want on the top. What we really want is to make sure that it uh that doesn't come out. <laughs> yes. Uh oh god. Yeah, I used to brush our cat's teeth all the time. I kind of got out of the habit. He did the one I just showed did not like it, but our main coon loves it. He still like will sometimes sit there and sniff the tooth cat toothbrush. He wants me to brush his teeth. This is not good. Well, we do what we can. Yeah. As long as it's not going to instantly kill us. <laughs> Shoot. All of this sucks. Oh well. We'll manage. It is, I guess. Okay, so we may be getting two AI cards no matter what I did, so... Oh. Dun, there dun. There you go. Dun, dun, dun! Stomp! Closest knockdown survivor. Furthest threat in field of view in range. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yep. I'm gonna run right through you. Yep. Um... Though he will not stay standing on me if you move him right. Yeah. In which case we can encourage to stand him back up. Okay. So, um, move and attack. Boom, boom. Don't, don't, boom, don't, 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 don't do you that. You were in that spot. No. What? 
No, he was right here. Yeah, he can move. He was right here, actually. But he can move through me and not 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 push me away. Oh. If you land him here, it's he can move straight this way, and I think it's the same amount of movement. Yes, So if is. you do that, you won't knock me away. Ah. You'll just knock me down. Ah! See, so, she's the smart one. So he collided with me, and then we need to roll the damage because that was a collision. So for trample, he needs to... Did I forget the collision dice again? I think so. Where did they go? Yeah, oh god, the freaking mouth under the belly. And the funniest thing is, for the longest time, we didn't know what it did, and then we found out. But yes. And then we found out. And the, it's funny, we played this animal how many times, and we didn't find out about that until... Do you want to roll, or should I? Uh, uh, since I'm monster control, I roll. Okay. Okay. So Feldspar gets hit. Oh, buddy. Okay, so body yes, the, the mouth down. under his belly is just really unnerving. Okay. <laughs> so now we have to do the. Uh, so what am I doing? So now we have to do the other part. You of weren't it. able to dodge. Oh. That's not the dodge part. Oh, right. That was just me. Okay, so speed button. one. Do you have any evasion? Um, I have one evasion. You? No, two evasion. Two evasion. So this is a four plus. So let's hope I roll like shit. Mm -hmm. Three! Thanks for rolling like shit! <laughs> a plus rolling like shit. Me rolling like shit comes in handy sometimes. Okay. So, um, no, uh, oh wait, before damage, always hit the body location. Yep. Um, and then if the attack damaged the target, it did not, so we do not draw the AI. Yep. And we really want to damage him this turn. Okay. So, uh, uh yeah, we're, hey Genja Ninja! Oh hey, welcome back! We are fighting the screaming antelope again, uh, hoping to get a pelt to finish our knuckle pair. Yeah. Um, and hoping to just get organs and 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 hide in general. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to uh, start by uh, rawhide, or not rawhide. Um, uh, encourage. I'm going okay. to encourage and stand you up. All right. Um, and then I'm going to move further away because I don't need to be nearby. Um. Then, uh, why don't you whack with the Zambato since we know it's safe. Okay, so please move me around to the This back. one? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, then I've got my Zambato, and, uh, my shitty accuracy, so I've only got a 50-50 chance of hitting with the damn thing. You ripped out the heart, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. You don't want to hit with the Zambato, do you? I'm not really that proficient with this. Apparently. No, no, apparently not. We just got this okay. weapon, and you're like, what the fuck do I do with this, man? Come on, seriously, what do I do with this? Okay. <laughs> I've well, never seen something like this. So, uh, unless you have some reason that you prefer to not do it, I can try to hit with the cat gut bow. Um, by the way, how, how expensive was the 3D board? A hundred bucks. Ah, oh, damn, I'm only at 50. Otherwise, I could have chosen that over another manual. Mm. Um, that's the only thing we didn't get was the 3D board, and that was an accident. Yeah. Um... So we're really hoping either, what I'm planning is either we're hoping we can add it on post Kickstarter once the thing comes in, um, or uh, honestly I'll buy one off, off of YouTube, or off of eBay, off of somebody. I'll find yeah. somebody. But we, we paid enough to get it everything. Yeah, we did the, um, uh, we did the Satan's Lantern, and I believe I added enough to get all four crossover pieces. Mm -hmm. And then I also, like, and then that's the sum total of my pledge. And then Tony had also uh, kickstarted for a 1.5 expansion. Yeah, mainly so, so we can add that to our current game. Yeah. Um, Just so that, you know, we can still use it. Okay, cool. So you're going to plunk him with a bow? Attempt to. Like, let's, let's face it, man. So far, this has not been the greatest. Oh, that looks like it might hit. Uh, yes, that hits one. And then the bow specialization. So yeah, you don't have mastery yet. Uh, I can reroll misses once. So this was a miss. And I haven't even seen the 3D board yet. I haven't seen the picture yep. at all. Okay, so just one hit. Restless shoulder. Oh, that's bad. Uh-oh. If you wound it, it does bad shit? It backs up. Oh! <laughs> I don't like you. You're not allowed to hit to cat's eye circle anymore. That's awesome! Okay, so I wound on a three or higher. Crit, no crit, 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 cr
flips the screaming antelope's shoulder and it jumps back. Burr. Turn to face the attacker, then without turning, move the monster one space directly away from the attacker. Cancel all hits now out of range. So, you need to roll to hurt me. I need to hurt you? Yes. Uh, there it is. Doo -doo -doo. That would be your legs. Okay. So you stepped on your leg on the way back. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah, oh, that, that would hurt really so bad. bad. I mean, you know, I was laughing when people in The Amazing Race were getting uh, kicked by, like, donkeys and stuff, but that's not... yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so one thing I'd point out with the flatness is it is possible to make really intense 3D and still technically have it flat on the top. You can stack stuff on this. So I wouldn't be surprised if with the 3D board it has a similar effect. Yeah. Um, it can look really cool while still being able to have this stuff. Yeah, I mean, um, it is going to be challenging. I'm just hoping that he delivers. Hard. Oh, um, you might not be able to post links in our uh, Twitch chat anymore. We had a couple of problems with a few spammers really starting to spam in links, so I might have blocked link links for right now. So but the two of them are friends, so. Yeah. Um, okay, so our turn. Uh, yes. Or, or oh, no, no, no still our turn. Yeah, so somebody did not go yet. This character. Okay. Which is, this is Umber, so I can run up and whip him. Whip him good. And I did get my build proficiency. So okay, so we just picked up the Hunter's Whip. I don't have it hooked up for the remove mood, but that's not uh, really a good turn. You know, that is a good point. What? Mm. The fairy circle might fit awkwardly because the entire board has to be relatively flat oh, for the yeah. entire fairy circle area. Could be interesting. Okay, um, so this is a 6 plus, so I hit once. Okay. Funny enough, I would have discarded a mood <laughs> if I had had the other blue hookup. Okay. Okay. Oh, restless back. I'm not using a club or a shield, so I don't get the extra luck. Um, I got an 8, so I do wound him and no side effects. Okay. So, two of the three advance cards are still in the deck, and we're about to shuffle them back in. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, okay. So, kick over Monster Controller, and let's see what he does. And we get Bite, closest survivor in field of view. Chomp. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Umber, how are you doing today? Uh, move and attack. Tasty, apparently. Yeah, it's very tasty. Uh, move and attack, so Umber has no evasion, so this will just be the one hit. Uh, that is a hit. Okay. So, uh, take two damage, and I will gain a bleed token. Okay. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, legs, so I will take two to the legs and gain a bleed. This is not the character with the rust, so I do not gain evasion from that. Okay. And is that it for that ability? Yep, that looks good. Okay. So... Hold on one second. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Okay. So, I stand up because I was knocked down before the monster's turn. Okay. And then... Oh, uh... Do we want to look at the hit locations? Uh, yes. I will start with Fuchsia and do a uh, Cat's Eye Circlet. There you go. Oh... Still no, uh, what's it called? Uh, super dense. Okay. So, oh, if attacking with a melee weapon and the wooden roll for this location is one or two, the monster consumes your weapon. No, not that one. Definitely yeah. not that one. You only do one roll, right? I can only roll once. Okay. Because I'm Bateau. So if you put it second, that will then be second. If I manage to hit with the bow, then I can get that off. Okay, I apologize. I have to actually check this email quick. Um, okay, I'll have to get that. Um, so I will move behind him and attempt to attack with the Zambato. I technically hit on a four or higher because of his negative one evasion. Please. Please. <laughs> uh, so some Kickstarters charge immediately, but if you use a Pledge Manager... I'm going to set this on fire. Grab a different guy. I know, like... <laughs> But uh, some Kickstarters, uh, if they use more intense pledge managers, it can take upwards of a week for it to show up. Okay. 
Let's see. I don't know what to do at this point. Like, do we continue trying to get him the grand weapon? Or? Yeah, we need to continue that. How many AI cards? Five. Or six. six AI okay, cards. so we can still hit him a little bit. Try to get some of those cards down. Uh, do you need to hit him, or should I be using the bow? Um, you may hit that second card, but then again, we actually, may I'm going to uh, I'm going to surge. Okay. Uh, see if I keep my survival. I do keep the survival, and I'm going to cat's eye circle it again and put it on the top. Okay. Uh, to hopefully get my bow to hit it. Yeah. So I'm putting the giant mouth on the top with the hopes that your bow will take off the card if nothing else. Okay. So you just need one hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could be kind of cool. Being able to put an acrylic layer, a thin acrylic layer over the top could solve some of the 3D terrain, too. Because he has negative one evasion, that one hits. And okay. then because I am a bow specialist, or proficient, yep. I miss with that one anyway. But, but you got the one I hit. I did get the one hit. So this is not a melee weapon, so none of this matters. So the reflex does not matter on the giant mouth. Yes. And you wound. I did wound. Okay. Yeah. So there's not that much pelt in that deck now. No, there isn't. And we just have not gotten lucky with any of the stuff. No. Okay, so I don't think Umbridge has gone yet. On this one. With the whip. Mm -hmm. So I will run, a, run around to his back. Probably not the best place to be. <laughs> My luck. My cruel world. Yes. Oh... Wow, three hits. Three hits. And two of them would have been perfect hits. You know, now that I don't have the blue hookups, we don't have to worry about moods, I'm going to get all the perfect hits. Yeah, pretty of much. Course. And this then is when, you. And then when we need it, it won't happen. Yep. Okay, so first strike, that'll have to be the Restless Eye. Then um, if I wound, he moves forward in a straight line, or he attacks everything around it. I think I'm going to make him run forward. Okay. Second. You know, actually, one thing is, you know, we should, uh, I should try to get champions right on this character. Yeah, that could be good. Because then they get the one whack with the Zombato, definitely, always. That's a good call. Yeah, we should do the champions right, so you'll need to equip the dragon vestments. At some point, yeah. Okay, so I'm starting with the Restless Eye. Uh, first strike, I have to hit it first. Um, if the attacker's insane... Oh, shit. Uh, cancel all hits and end the attack. Okay. Well, that was easy. The second you said first strike, I was like, well. Well, shit. Yep. Okay, I'm done. That would be the end of our turn, so monster controller moves. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that would be awesome to oh, do. Oh, yeah, the frame. 3D board in a frame would be awesome. Okay, discard showdown and perform basic action. Okay, because there's nothing to eat. Closest knockdown survivor, nope. No card get grazed, so he moves six away. Yeah, move six. Okay, awesome. Not awesome. Oh yeah, fair point. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, because you can't move six with the Zambato. No. Okay, I'm going to Cat's Eye Circle it. Let's see. Um, ouch. Okay, I'm going to put a restless ear on top. Okay. Because uh, the third card is the one where if you're behind him, he kicks you back and you take three damage to a random location. Ouch. And then Umber is going to use his white lion boots to run up the full six and try to whack an antelope. Or, or with an antelope. Kind of appropriate, I'm whipping an antelope. Uh-huh. It's like a horse, right? No? No, it doesn't work that way? Two hits. And it was intended to be a mount. Oh, it was? For the goblin. Yeah, but oh. when it saw its master, it freaked out. Okay, so I've got an ear and a delicate inverted knee. Both of them, I don't have a club or a shield, so I'm not getting the bonus luck. Okay. I'm going to start with... um. Uh, with the Restless Ear. Okay. Oh, I need just a two to hit. I crit!
crit. Nice. Um, unfortunately, not as useful. Um, it's the persistent injury dazed. When he would draw an AI card, roll a d10. On a result of 8+, plus, he is confused and instead makes a full move forward in a straight line. Oh. Hey, man. If you crit on the Manhunter in one of his locations, he kicks you back. Really? Yeah. Or then there's the uh, Slenderman. Oh, my God. If you want to see a hell of a fight, check the Slenderman. The, cr the All the crits are bad. But I liked it. Yeah. And then I just wound on the delicate inverted knee. And then so, I'm going to move forward with this character 5, and I'm going to check the Cat's Eye Circling. The Cat's Eye Circling. There you go. Oh. oh, yeah. A PSD at the final game board would be really nice. Okay. So, all three of these are get antelope resource on crit. None of them are uh, the bad stuff. Okay. Um, and none are uh, super dense? Nope. There we go. All right. Um, all right. So Feldspar is going to scream. So anybody who has less than three insanity gains one insanity, and anybody who has more than three insanity gains one hit point. Nice. So you could actually reach him with the Zambato. No. I'm not insane. Oh. Feldspar oh. was destined. Oh. Oh, that's harsh. Yeah, okay. And then uh, Onyx Noble is going to Rawhide Headband. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah. Gonna... Okay, well, Gore goes on top because fuck Crush and Devour. <laughs> um, oh, Crush and Devour survived? Yeah, Crush and Devour survived. Oh, shit. And he's going to. And do you go five? Uh, technically, yeah. Go five directly that way. Okay. There you go. Uh, technically, he can go six, actually, so please move him one additional space. Uh, that may cause you to get run over. Uh, yeah, but given that I know what the AI card is, okay. I would rather that it actually be... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Fine. Okay. Okay, cool. I was just trying to figure out how the pattern of movement would move. Yeah. Okay. So, Monster Controller. Okay, so yeah, it was the right move. Full move in the direction the monster is facing and turn to face the closest survivor. Uh, and then it is a random survivor in range. Okay, so that will hit any of the three of us. Yes. So white is for far, black is for snowball. And it's me. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have him go one, two right there. Oh, that's very presumptuous of you. What? Monster controller. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, speed one, accuracy two plus, damage one. Do you have any? Uh... Um. No, oh. I do not have an evasion. No. Dazed. Oh. He was not dazed. Okay. So now, open attack. Yes. You do not have any evasion. It hits you. Okay. For one damage, and you will be knocked down if you take it. As to the arms. Okay. Um. This is. I'm not too worried about being knocked down with this character, so I will take the one damage to the arms. On Umper. There we go. Okay. Alright. So we know that the hit locations are six. So what's like a whole new game? Uh, the Await the King. The, the king I think. Oh, interesting. That could be yeah. really good. Okay. So. so so, try to whack him with the Zambato. You yeah, want to hit him from behind? Around. Yeah, I move around from behind, so I hit him on a four or higher. Come oh, on. wait, wait. Cat's Eye. Do you need to Cat's Eye again? I yeah. Cat's eye again. No, I, I took a card. Okay. So I just want to make best situation. Yeah. Um. Yeah, don't want the Shank. Okay, so this should be good. I can't Shank him. <laughs> the Shank is the one where if you're behind him... He kicks you? Yeah. Oh, checking your uh, screaming antelope set? Yeah. Probably not that useful. Yeah, not that useful in this case. Because I could slam, but I'm going to move behind him. Oh, you get a lot of minis here, Heroic Logic. You get a lot of minis. So I'm going to move behind him. Okay. Oh my 
God, because of the narrative sculptures and everything. Uh-huh. I'm on four higher. Yay! Finally, you finally hit faster. him. There we go. Furry tail. You strike the magnificent bushy tail. That'd so be that thing. I crit on an eight, nine, or ten. Ooh. And, uh, because the Zambato is, is, uh, deadly, and I have a lucky charm that's hooked up properly. Uh, no, you're missing one hookup. Blue, blue. Oh, you have blue, two blue. hookups. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's it not... It doesn't, it's not puzzle piece, so okay. it doesn't matter. And I damage on anything but a... No, actually, I have to hit it. No, Don't forget, you have a strength token. Higher. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. I hit on anything but a one. Oh, uh, yeah, I was really hoping for the ringtail fox as well. Okay, so I did not crit, but I did damage him, and that gets me my first grand weapon proficiency at the end nice. of the combat. So nice. Very good. nice. Okay, there we go. Okay. So... So, now we just need to kill him. Yes. Can you shoot him with the bow? Uh, yes, I can shoot him with the bow. Um, <laughs> the bad die. Shoot him with the bow. Yeah, yeah, you almost need a room for all Kingdom Death Monster. Thankfully, I am a proficient in the bow, which means I totally didn't miss twice. I oh. totally did not miss twice. No, she did not. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, so that's the failure one. Uh, ugh. I don't like either. Of these. No, they're not very good. Okay. Well, I guess I don't really have much of a choice. So I'm gonna do restless tiny hands first. Um, if I fail, then somehow the grasping tiny hands manage to knock my bow out of my hands, even though it's like three away. Never wants us to go axe. We'll have to get the axe later. Okay, so Onyx is, uh, oh. yeah, 2 plus, yeah, not enough. The two problem plus is... 5 is, yeah, I'm close, but not enough, so I lost my weapon. Oh, Which well, you don't lose me. the weapon, you drop it. Yeah, I drop it, but I lost my weapon temporarily. Okay, do you want to just surge and pick it up quick? Uh, yeah, I guess. I have uh, the rawhide set, yep. so I... Not sur I do not gain back to survival after I search, so I'm down to three, and I pick up my weapon. Uh, Grand's kind of nice. The knockdown is why we want the Grand off. Uh, we'd also like to get an axe, but the problem is I think the only axe we can get is the bone axe. And mm -hmm. that kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. What? There's other ones? You can get the counterweighted axe. Oh, right. I always forget about that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, I think we're done. Yeah. There you go. Wheel of Sadness. <laughs> oh. But we managed to get rid of his uh, big mouth, right? I don't remember. I think so, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Roll the die. Roll the die. What does the die roll do? Dazed. If it's, uh, if it's eight plus, then he runs instead of uses the AI. Oh. Two! Okay, so just draw the eight. Am I rolling like shit? Uh, helps us again. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. Chow down. Basic action. Okay. So closest knockdown survivor. So that would be... Me! You. That would be Umber. Poor Umber. Poor Umber. Yep. So... so two, two plus one. Okay. And one hit. Okay. Because I roll like shit. But so that was a... That's like my augury roll. Or my, uh... Intimacy roll? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Intimacy. Thank God we're not playing survival. Oh, we'll God. Because you would have... Our settlement would be dead solely because of you if we were rolling survival of the fittest at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so where does it hit you? Um, oh, right. How much damage? One. Uh, body. One to the body. So that's not too bad. Yeah, we really need dash because I think we're definitely ready to take level twos, except it's for dash. It's so terrible when you, if you don't have dash. For yeah. Power, I, I just don't even want to think about oh. it. Oh. Okay, so your character, Umber, stands up, I believe. Yes. Okay. And now, we try to kick the shit out of it. Yes. Okay, Umber is going to run around the side and whack him. Okay. Do or whip him. to, like, cat's eye circle or anything? Well, with the whip, I'm not worried about, because though we already pulled the one card that could eat the weapon. Okay. So, two hits. God, I'm rolling the perfects like mad on this whip. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, oh, that sucks. Um, okay, so, going to hit his furry throat first. 
Um, no club or shield, so I don't get the luck bonus. Oh, I roll a nine. Oh, that is... Really? It's both axe and... Sp oh, oh, wow. wow. That's interesting. Wow, that is kind of cool. Um, I rolled a nine. We almost got a resource. Aw. But, alas, I just wound. Alright, so now all he has left is chow down, which is effectively another basic action. Okay. Um, which means he's about to run. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. And I wound. And turn the monster to face away from the attacker. And oh, full you move. Jerk. Well, at least I went that way. Oh, okay. Barely in range! He's in range! Okay. Still no crit. So we just need one hit to kill him. Yep, and I will do Cat's Eye. Alright. Because now I'm worried about the trap. Yeah. You should be. I should be. It was the top card. Oh my god. So I think my Zumbato user can get behind him. Okay, um, I'm going to put the Gnarled Horns on top. If you crit, you get a resource. If you fail to hit, he's going to hit you hard. Okay. Um, so, just for note. Yeah, I think I can take it. The only place... No, I, if I can take three damage to any location and not be... And not I don't be think it's the three damage one, but okay. still. Okay, so you're going to run up behind? Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's actually hit him. Come on, four high. Get your Belmont <laughs> Uh Good Castlevania reference. Thank you. Perfect hit. Perfect hit. Nice. Now roll that again. Get that crit. Get us a resource. Oh, he doesn't hit you that hard. It's not that oh, it was the wrong card. Okay, I was thinking the other one. Yeah. This get us that resource. Be... Yeah, so eight or fire and we get a resource. Get us that resource. Oh, yeah. did you I wound? I did wound him, though. Okay, he's so he's dead. Alrighty, then. Oh, so not the most successful outing we've ever had. No. But no one died. That's always a plus in this game. Yeah, A plus not dying. Yes. Yeah, very much A plus not dying. Oh, wow. God, we had Crush and Devour. God, I hate that card. God, yes. I, I, Yeah. And if we had done Oracle's Eye, we would have known that. I know. Wouldn't that be nice? So, let's see if we get our pelt. We get a muscly gums. Yep. That's an organ. Yeah, we get a spiral horn. Not looking good so far. A pelt! Yay! We got our pelt! Just a level one. And a large flat tooth. Again? Yes. There's something at the bottom for that. Uh, it's, uh, when you gain... This, a survivor gets one plus, plus one sa insanity. I don't need it, so I don't know if that's something you want. Um, I can take it if uh, we need, but I don't need it to hit insanity. I'll take it on false bar. Okay. So, all right, everybody gains. Yeah, I know we. Really he was a level one. We need we need dash to hit level two. Okay, so everybody gains that hunt XP. Okay, well, hold on. Let me get the uh, basic resources out. Because that's, I'm going to have to do some stuff. Okay, and for our basics, let's hope for hide, 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 and hide. Mm -hmm. Um, monster bone, broken lantern, hide, and an organ. Hey, that's not too bad. I would have preferred more hide, yeah. but we can take that. Okay, I am going to age with umber. Okay, I also age with onyx noble. And I gain my proficiency officially in sword. Okay. I am fully, pro I am proficient. Okay, cool. That's awesome. On uh, uh, fuchsia. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to roll for uh, age on umber. Oh, let's see how this goes. Oh, not bad. Uh, that might give me something else. Twelve. Do I just get fighting art? Yeah. Okay. One random fighting art, unless you're wearing dragon vestments. Which I am, so I want to take uh, Champion's Right, or Faded Below. Um, which do you think is easier for us to get, Understanding or Courage? Uh, I think Understanding. Understanding seems to be easier. But Destined. That's going to be harder since we're not. We're going to be taking down the uh, gates, right? Destined? Uh, uh, destined Disorder. Yeah, it is kind of a little bit more difficult. Okay, um, but base accuracy is also difficult. Uh, I think I'll go Champions right. 
Okay. I think I have the slightly better chance of getting that constellation. Okay. And then my age is going to be 12 as well. I do get a random fighting art. I was not wearing dragon's vestments. Oh, random fighting arts. Mm -hmm. Let us see what we shall get. I'm going for the witch on this character, so it's not a big deal, but I didn't get another fighting art. Okay. Oh, you're going for the witch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. That should be pretty easy. Okay, and you get acrobatics. When you are adjacent to a monster, you spend a movement to place your survivor on any other space adjacent. Oh, wow. That's a special one for uh, this campaign. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a Dragon King People of the Stars campaign exclusive fighting art. All right, well, I'm not complaining. Okay, so that would be that. Okay, um, I am one off of aging on Fuchsia, so that'd be the second age. Um, and now Umber officially gets the Hunter Whip uh, weapon proficiency. Okay. Or not Hunter Whip. 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 Just Whip. Just Whip. Whip him. Whip him real good. Okay. Okay, and I think that's it for the uh, hunt. hunt phase. So if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching, and I apologize again for not putting up the uh, the videos last week, so you're getting extra this week. Um, if you're on Twitch, please stick around, and we will see you in a moment.